I'm still trying. I'm still trying. <laughs> Hello and welcome. This is The Art of Giving Up, your podcast for giving up bad days, bad ways, unfortunate habits, bad friendships. Sometimes just giving up because life is too hard. And as always, I'm your host, Stephen. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you, yes, you, for joining me on this truly becoming the journey of my self-improvement, my growth. What does that mean for you? Why are you here? Because you need to grow too. And that's definitely something that we all kind of have to realize that we are not alone in this journey. The problem with doing things like this is that where is the value proposition? I am a no one. You don't know me. I have to present this content to you and make you interested in what I have to say. How do I do that? I could be funny, but we all know that I'm not the funny one. We all know the funny happens on Was It In Good Taste, my other podcast, where I'm definitely not the funny one. We all know that the true insight and true growth is not coming from me. We all know that I'm not really offering any hot takes, so why are you listening? I'd like to think that I'm a dynamic personality. That I am the kind of person that if you speak to me, that if you are with me or around me, that you really start to love me, that you start to like me, that you start to understand me. And maybe you want to be my friend. And I think I've mentioned before that this... This is kind of me building a friendship with you, but how could I build a friendship when I don't let you in? And that's kind of a problem for me, at least. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. My inability to let people in. And like always, I hope that you learn from my mistakes, because... Not to sound, I have to pat myself on the back, but uh, I'm pretty good at making mistakes. I'm pretty good at making mistakes. And I'd like to think that when I make mistakes, that you, yes you, my listener, one of the hundreds of people who listen, that you learn from the mistakes that I make. And you become a better person. Because hopefully this is something that I'll do forever. And maybe one day, 15 years from now, when, I don't know, I freaking have Elon Musk's kid here on the podcast or something. Or I'm on Saturday Night Live. And um, <clears throat> he's like, whoa. You, you'll be like, well, I remember when he used to just be by himself in his bedroom. Wow, now he's grown. And you'll look and be like, yeah, we're friends. Like, it makes me think of uh, Greg Miller. I don't know if you know Greg Miller of the Kind of Funny Podcast. Sure as hell don't know who I am. But I've been listening to Greg Miller and pretty much the entire Kind of Funny crew since they were on IGN. And I think I've mentioned this before. I used to listen to their PlayStation podcast. Before I even had a video game system, I felt like they were my friends. Because even though, even with IGN, when they talked very little about themselves, they would allow little snippets of themselves to come through. 
I don't do that, even with people that I love and care about. <clears throat> and I was thinking about this fact this week as I sat next to the woman that I love and I looked her in her eyes just randomly and I realized that like <clears throat> she knows me better than anyone on earth better than my mother knows me but not because of me she knows me better than anyone despite myself because I don't feel comfortable opening up. It's difficult. And there are things I can talk about because after a while they become stories. When I talk about the abuse that I suffered in elementary and junior high school and when I first entered high school, but I tell these things, these stories, as if there is some kind of, I don't know, like anecdote. I don't let the people that I love into my sphere. And because of it, I feel isolated and lonely and scared. I don't allow people into my space and I have the audacity to feel alone alone when people that I love reach out to me and they try and I just can't and I'd love to blame it on my anxiety and possibly most truthfully my anxiety may be everything behind the way that I behave, but nothing feels more isolating than knowing that you cannot let someone in. And the reason for this, and I hope that you don't find this in yourself, the reason for this with me is because I don't like myself very much. Through the years, I've learned that there are bits of me that I like, and I kind of started feeling positive about myself until I met with adversity. And when I'm met with any kind of adversity, I don't like myself because I fail. And I don't like myself because I give up before I get there, before I'm able to, before I even stare the obstacle in the face or at the obstacle or whatever the hell. Because of this, I don't like me. And so I assume that you don't like me. And the way that I feel, I would never want anyone else to feel. And it's hard. And I know it must be hard to be my friend. And I know it must be hard to love me because it, it it's hard for me to say. But I believe that there's a lot of good in me. And that being with me and around me can be very good. But it's very difficult. Also because I believe that for all the good that I have and all the good that I try to do. It's very hard for me to be happy. And it's hard to love someone like that. And this is why I value the people that I have. Because they show me consistently that they're there for me even when I'm 
not there for them. And that guilt, I live with that every day. And I'd love to be better than that. And it's hard and I'm trying to be present, to be not scared. Because the last thing that I want to do is look into the eyes of the woman who I've loved forever and see the hurt that I've done with my lies and my manipulation and my insecurities and to see them still love me regardless it hurts and it's very difficult for me to pull myself out of that we have to do everything within our power you and me to let people in because if you don't let people in you're gonna be alone no matter how alone you actually feel no matter how alone you are you're going to be alone and you're not I know you're not alone because I don't even know you and I'm here for you I know that you're not alone because I don't know you and I already love you. And I know that people love me and I know it's hard, but we have to be better. We have to be consistent and strong because the people who love us, that's what they need. They need us to be the best the best us, the best I, the best me, the best we that's possible. Love is a two-way street. Show the people who love you that you love them by sharing with them, by opening up and letting them know how much you care about them because I have such a hard time with that and I know that if I don't overcome this, I will be alone. I will have chased away everyone who I love. I will have pushed everyone away. And that is not something that I can live with. And that's not something I want to see for you. And so I want to thank you for allowing me to open up to you. For allowing me this 15 minutes of your life to listen to me. I value you. I love you. As always, you can be a part of the conversation. Art of Giving Up on Instagram. DA Art of Giving Up on Twitter. Art of Giving Up Podcast at gmail.com. And you can follow both of my podcasts, The Art of Giving Up and Was That in Good Taste, at A Habit of Wellness on YouTube and Facebook. Because growth, because love, because happiness is a habit. So as always, I'm your host, Stephen. Thank you. Peace.